Hey y'all, welcome to Random Art with Karen. And since it's October, I'm thinking Halloween. <laughs> Halloween was one of my mother's favorite times of the year. Uh, she decorated and uh, of course it could have been the candy too. <laughs> so one of my favorite days is the day after Halloween when they mark all the candy down. <laughs> so these are some cards that I created. And I hope you saw my unboxing video. If not, I will put it below. Uh, Creative Escape Paper Crafting. They knocked it out of the park again with a fabulous October card kit. I will put their link below. Um, hopefully they still have some kits available for you. If not, subscribe so you never miss. So let me share the cards. Uh, now this particular one, the, the paper... Uh, already came so it looks like I did this layering however I didn't there was this really unique die cut that was in the kit so that's how I did the tree and the little bats and then the stamp set from Lawn Fawn and then the sequence packet had these adorable little ghosts in it and then the beautiful pattern paper I say beautiful can bat paper be beautiful <laughs> in Karen Land it can the pattern paper is just phenomenal and it, it just gives so much to your card. Uh, this, again, all I really did was use the paper that came and cut it and then did some layering and ba bam, there you go. Uh, this was on the sticker sheet uh, that was part of the kit from Echo Park and then also the Baker's Twine. Actually, everything. Uh, that I'll be showing you came in the kit. That's what a phenomenal kit it is. It had everything I needed. Here, um, yeah, there were some pattern paper, so I just cut the moon part out of that paper. Uh, this beautiful lime ribbon was part of the kit. Again, just did layering with that beautiful paper. Used my stamp set from Lawn Fawn. That's how I did that card. Uh, here they had this wonderful card stock. If you enjoy using alcohol markers, this card stock is perfect, perfect, perfect. And so I uh, again used my Lawn Fawn uh, card kit or stamp set, did my coloring uh, using some Spellbinders dies, uh, cut that out, and then added my hemp. I was in a hurry to make these cards because I participate with Send a Smile for Kids. And if you're not familiar with Send a Smile for Kids, I will put their link below. And I had received my card kit from Creative Escape Paper Crafting like the end of September. And for Halloween, they needed the cards by October 5th. Well, today's the second. <laughs> But, you know, I was able, and I work outside my home, but I was able to get these cards done because, first off, everything was already perfectly coordinated for me. Some of the paper had, like, journal cards on it. There was a sticker sheet. Um, and so I was able to create uh, great cards in a short matter of time. Send a Smile for Kids is an organization that sends cards to children in hospitals all over the U.S., they have volunteers throughout the U.S. Uh, my volunteer here in Tennessee is Kathy. So I knew, even though I was getting close to the time, I knew I'd be able to do priority shipping to her, and she would get it by October 5th. So I will send you a link or put a link below in the description box, um, and you can see the dates that they will need things like for Christmas, but they always need birthday cards, so consider that. Uh, again, it's a great, uh, great organization, and if you want to receive a blessing, bless somebody else with your beautiful cards. So let me show you some other cards I did. On this one here, uh, just use the sticker. Uh, this, again, is from the stamp set. And then, again, that fun pattern paper that was double-sided by Cartabella and the twine and then the cute little ghost sequence <laughs> on this one i just had some scraps left and so i pieced them together and then just put the stickers on it there you go card done 
Yeah, this is called Bewitched, if you remember that TV show. On this one, uh, again, I stamped, I colored using my Copic markers. And here, uh, if you're not familiar with masking, let me show you about masking. So I went ahead and, and stamped this little guy down there. And then I stamped him on some scrap paper and cut it out. So now he's been masked over so that I can stamp the next pumpkin and the next pumpkin, you know, without getting them overlay. Uh, I did the same thing, as you can see there. I, um, the scooper here. So like I uh, masked over that. So I was able to put that top there and then mask there. So I could put the carving knife and the scoop. And so that's how I did that card. Hey, my oh my little dude's here. You might have heard him meow. <laughs> He's a black cat, by the way. So here's another card. And again, I, I love using those little foam adhesive dots to give a little elevation. But again, look at that fun paper. You're beautiful. Now this one I used pencils. So if you don't use alcohol markers, you can see that the pencils work beautifully too. Here, now this looks like I did layered, but actually the paper came that way. Isn't that fun? And then used the sticker, and then there was that uh, glittery ribbon that came in the kit. And of course I adore the stripe pattern paper. Here, uh, just use stickers. Uh, die cut a circle, layered it on a scallop circle, uh, then the pattern paper, stamped my sentiment. And that's how that happened. So uh, I still had tons left over. So I decided to do some trick-or-treat bags. Here I just used the stickers. Again, my little bewitched Samantha. <laughs> it's a little trick-or-treat bag. Uh, I thought about, you know, stuffing it and so forth so you could see it that way. But, you know, candy in our house is, is not a good thing. <laughs> And here's another trick-or-treat bag I did. So again, this was the pattern paper that I just cut it out. And then I took my corner rounder punch and just on two opposite sides punched the corner. And that's how I kind of made this sort of kind of like a flower. It's a Halloween flower. And the center of my flower is a lollipop. <laughs> So, what did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards, two trick or treat bags, and of course, I still have my Lawn Fawn stamp set. Still have tons of stickers. Yeah, I think I'm going to use those in my planner. Still have tons of pattern paper, cardstock, ribbon, twine, sequins. Oh, and my die cut. There's my die cut tucking, peeking out there. These kits are phenomenal. Again, I'll put the link below in the descriptor box so that you can join, uh, definitely join the blog and the Facebook page so that you can see when these kits become available so that you won't miss out. Also, if you join a uh, blog and Facebook, you'll also be able to see how we all created our different kits. And then I was also going to put the link below for Send a Smile for Kids. So I hope you'll consider participating with them. Again, uh, it's just, it, just think about it just for, you know, a minute or two, their mind will be taken off whatever their disease, their pain is, and being in the hospital. So consider sharing your cards with Send a Smile for Kids. So I need to get the insides into my cards and pack them up with some envelopes. So I need to get out of here. <laughs> Again, check the descriptor box. Thanks for checking with me today. Let's do the wave. Bye. Look forward to seeing you next time.